So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys want the theme song short, so here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> Crazy Cat Lady or Martha Butler does not own the, any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Katie Snow for edge and entertainment purpose. Blade, it's like it's all I did. Well, those years ago. See? No, I don't want to do any more of it. Alright, since I don't know when I'm going to see the fourth one, whenever that will be, because I haven't gone to the movie in a while. So, um... Whenever it comes on streaming, if I'm lucky, I'll probably see that one on streaming. Besides, that one's not that big a deal for me to see in theaters. Um, probably see on Peacock or Netflix. Because that's where those um, DreamWorks still goes to Netflix. But I'm watching all the Kung Fu Pandas in preparation for it. And they got one more to watch now, again. Uh, so the second one really um, does have the best jokes. I still laugh at this one after even though it's been like forever since i watched this and this is a joke that i laughed at is well here it is and shazam i think you're copying this joke from it here you go Enough games, boy. You think a pack of children can... What? Prepare yourself for a hot... Wait, what? You... Shen! A panda stands between you and your destiny. You're like a mile away from me right now. There's cars and trucks. I will have the world eating out of the palm of my hand. What? And now? And all I see is mouth moving. I don't hear any- Funny, huh? <laughs> now try to make it match where, um, um, we have Sazam saying it to Poe, and then have, um, uh, the villain say it to the villain, and have, um, Lord Shang say it to, um, the villain and Sazam. It's like for since I watched that movie, so I forgot the villain's name. Um, so, in this one, uh, we learn about Poe's past. How he, um, who has real family and so I think is shocker, his, um, dad is not a goose. I know I said, um, in the first movie, a duck, but leave me alone. <laughs> I did not, I'm correcting myself right now by saying the right type of bird. They both are not ones you do not want to mess with, okay? Goose and ducks are not something you want to mess with because if you feed them bread, and if you walk by them, and they think that you have bread, and you don't, you're in trouble. <laughs> They're gonna come and get you. <laughs> so yeah, let's leave those type of birds alone. So yeah. Anyway, um, so those ducks. <laughs> I forgot what I was talking about. So um, we got. Gary Oldman's character, who's playing, and he is one who's the bad guy in this. He killed all um, old pandas in that part of China because we find out at the very end of the movie they're not all dead. So yay! And um, I like these parts when they're like showing the um, pose past because it's two D. That, that part's really cool. It's just like how the beginning of it, um, when they had all them, when he's like having his little dream, and that part was 2D in the first movie. So, um, they, he, um, Lord Chang ends up going back to um, his home after being banished for, um, killing 
all the pan from killing all the pandas that they think they kill he killed all the pandas and him being a bad son and so he would not inherit his dad his parents throne and he comes back to come and get the throne and we have uh the stewards uh rhino uh, lord rhino lord um crocodile and lord um ox and they he ends up um killing rhino with a cannon and this is like when they just were discussed when um china was discovering uh gunpowder so when you discover gunpowder who needs kung fu because really when gunpowder came around um so z um all the samurais premises appeared and they're the ones who know um kung fu so it makes sense for where they would say kung fu defeated because they have no reason to call them anymore so uh they get called there after they hear after they hear about lord rhino being killed and all of them go all but shifu shifu is premise as bad as um as many as many lines as the the Furious Five, except for Tigress. The Tigress has the one that's the most lines because she is um helping um Poe through her through his um turmoil. He's going through this this movie and being there for him. The fact that he can't sleep and um he has to learn how to do inner peace by um because um Shifu wants me to you um use the like guide um a raindrop down to um the water i try to catch it. it's basically like um you ever seen um karate kid where um mr miyagi was trying to catch a fly with um a chopstick and he ends up doing it so yeah well, oh, Daniel ends up doing it, so yeah. And he gets mad at him for her being like... <laughs> so yeah. And it kind of reminds me of that. And right before he leaves, um, Poe ends up seeing like a vision of his dad, of his mom. Where his mom like puts him inside the radish bowl. And he goes and asks his dad about it. And his dad tells him he's adopted. Derp derp, you're a goose, he's a panda. That is not how things work. And he explains to him that he found him a radish thing and he realizes I'm not to cook radishes anymore but his noodles because uh, um, Poe likes radishes. And that seems really cute. And after that they end up leaving. And then we have like a little scene where um, Poe has to learn how to sneak. And but he can't speak very well. He's a panda, and he has to go inside of um one of those um dragon um costumes that they wear during um festivals over in China. And they end up going for that way and having um all the wolves be eaten by the costume and then um scaring one of the rabbit children. And after that, they um, all get captured because Poe surrenders, and. We, um, he has to meet his, his most scariest enemy in the world. In fact, it's all of our scariest enemies. You know what that is? Stairs. And stairs always win. Because <laughs> you can't go upstairs without you going, I will beat you next time, stairs. <laughs> I will not. I will go up the stairs and not go. <laughs> be tired after you get out of the stairs. <laughs> Darn you, elevators! How dare you not be invented yet in Kung Fu Panda's time period? <laughs> so yeah. So after that joke, by him saying I threw up on the third floor, you might want to have somebody mop that up. Um, he tries to hit them, um, he doesn't remember anything about 
them because he was a baby when it happened. Even if it was your uh, mom being killed and you're, you're thinking your dad being killed. Um, you're not going to remember it because you're a baby. It's like asking Harry Potter. Do you remember when your parents... How, how, what was like having your parents die in, until you have that stupid... Have that, um... The mentors do it, remind you about it. <laughs> so yeah, he doesn't remember that event. So the entered this Poe, and uh, he doesn't know why he's why like why he's here. He doesn't know why he wants revenge, because he thinks that he wants revenge to um to um revenge Rhino, but he really would want revenge for his parents. And all of the other pandas that got killed that night. And, but he doesn't remember it. And so, every time he, like, sees, um, the peacock's tails, he ends up remembering it a little bit more of, um, the event. And so, when he's fighting the peacock, he, like, lifts his tail, uh, his feathers up. And, um, he remembers a little bit more of it. And then he gets, and it, like, distracts him and then, like, pushes him. Out of there! Oh yeah, we already have a joke where he like fought when they find um the the crocodile and the ox, where he has to uh, try to get them out to help them, but they're actually in there hiding so they don't have to fight the the peacock and uh he can't get them out of there. So, uh, yeah, and Tigress during this is helping, like, through it, like, being there for him, like, telling her. He tells her, like, I just found out I'm adopted. And he, she helps him, like, get through it by talking through it because he couldn't sleep on the way up there. And when he, she asks him, why didn't you fight back? Why did you f freeze there? And she tells him, well, the peacock was there the night I was, the night my parents got killed. So, and she doesn't, he doesn't think that she would understand. Concord does not understand, so he, she wants to hug him, like, hardcore does understand. But you're staying here, because she doesn't want to lose her friend, in case you, he freezes up again. So, Poe has to go in there, over there, and sneak his way in, and, um, we think for a while, after they, like, get on top of, um, he gets on top of, uh, like a metal thing, and like that melts metal, so they can like use it for um for, as weapons. And he like gets on top like the bottom by using the the thing that like um I forgot that thing's called that that you hear you get, like, ring it you can hear like a noise in order to like go around the chains and this is I'm I, I'm still here. And uh, and he di he's not there yet. And the chain's not finished going over. And like I said that too soon and I. <laughs> so after that, they have a little fight, and then um, the cannon ends up going off, and um, everybody thinks that he's dead, but he's not because there's two more movies. And the goat who um foretold um that the peacock would be defeated by um hit by a black and white um creature and saves him from the river and helps him remember about his past by um him by him having to be at the the village where he was born and he ends up guiding the the rain the do to um, the ground like Chifu told him to unlock inner peace and then he goes back after he realizes that um, how his mom died in one of the best um, scenes in the movie and then we had that joke where um, I already showed you later showed you earlier that um, he's trying to tell him I'm coming to get you, and but um, the peacock can't hear. I mean, the peacock's saying, it's insane. What? I can't hear you! <laughs> and <laughs> so, yeah. Um, after that, they end up fighting, and um, the gun, the cannon guns up going off. Um, Shifu ends up 
um, getting the crocodile and the ox to help. And they end up all fighting. Um, Poe says, you're awesome. And then no, the fire goes off and exploding. Oh yeah, we already, and there's also another joke where um, the peacock says it's the year of the peacock, but it's like um, in the middle of the year, so. Because um, you don't know, um, China's um, year, New Year's, um, falls on February 22nd. So yeah. And their animals are the ones who, um, every single year it's a different animal. The peacock is not one of the animals that they have. Like, for example, um, the year I was born, um, it was the year of the snake. Put down in the comment what year you were born and what animal you are. You are. So, you want to. So, um, they end up fighting and then, um, they end up, like, having gun another gun. They shoot the cannon off. Instead of the cannon's hitting Poe this time, he grabs the, the cannonball and throws it right back at them, just like he did with the raindrops. And kind of reminds me of, um, Goku. Um, because some of the symbols look sim- um, the, like, the move that he's about to do, like, before he grabs the cannon, reminds me of, um, like, when Goku does, um, the Kamehameha scene, um, move. But, it, and then he ends up beating him, and he, like, he axes him, how did you find inner peace? I killed your parents, like, I scarred you for life! And then, in, um, Poe says, well, scars heal, like, no, they- that wounds heal. I guess scars fade. If fade, trust me, they do not heal. <laughs> okay, I have some. You probably have some. So yeah. So after that, um, he ends up winning and they end up being beaten, and then the movie ends, and he goes and set, tells his dad, "I found." Where my village I was born is, and I found out who I was. And he tells him, I'm your son. So and then they hug it and the movie ends. Except for there's no Kung Fu fighting song. Darn it. So I had to go listen, listen to it again. So yeah. So this movie's really good. Probably gonna give it probably about the same score as the first one, but a 9 out of 10. So yep, we'll see how well the third one does. I've not seen that one as often as these two. I only see that one twice. So, I'll see you guys later. Like, favor, and subscribe. And, bye bye Everyone, come Fu fighting. Come Fu fighting. Everyone as fast as lightning. Bye-bye.